Praise God, everybody. Lord Jesus, bless the eyes and ears of the listeners in the name of Jesus. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this lesson in the name of Jesus. Just a quick little lesson I want to bring to your attention. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 9 through 12. Um, actually, 9 through 13. Study it. Study it when you get time. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. And with all unrighteousness, deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this reason, I'm, I'm reading on the other side of the page. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie that and um, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. So there's telling you that Satan has the power to work signs and lying wonders in order to deceive the people. Okay, there's, there's supernatural forces behind the occult gurus like Easter. Um, mystical religions, cults, Satanism, and witchcraft. They're very, very real, people. Very real. Just because someone works a supernatural sign or wonder does not mean that he is from God, okay? Satan can cause his people to perform wonders and signs for the sake of spiritual deception. Whenever people deliberately reject the truth of the Bible, they set themselves up to be deluded and deceived. The Antichrist will come upon the scene and deceive millions and millions of people because these people reject the truth of Jesus Christ. Let's go on down to 13. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brother beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and Belief in the truth. What's this saying to you there? It's been said that in the United States, soldiers who had the best chances of withstanding communist brainwashing techniques during the Vietnam War were those who had um, deep faith in Jesus Christ. Even though deception comes in many different forms, people who know the truth will not be deceived by a lie. God's sanctifying power makes us holy and pure and fills us with the Holy Spirit. So people who study the Bible and who are filled with the Holy Spirit have power. We have the power to resist the deception. I've heard people ask me, how do I, you know, not be deceived? Get in God's word. It just, I just read it to you. Get in God's word. You have to study his word. Fill up with the spirit. Fill up with the water. Okay, and then we have the power to not fall into these lying wonders and deceptions. Okay, so I just wanted to run that by you really quick. All right, that's it. If you don't know Jesus, go ask him. You really study his word, people. Some of you are, some of you are, and that's great to hear. I'm great. I love to hear in the comment section that you're actually doing it, you're studying it. Some of you are still saying you're having a little bit of a struggle. I sent you my email. Uh, I could work one-on-one -on -one with you when I have time a little bit more. But the main thing is Jesus wants you to know his word. And he wants you to learn it. And he wants you to know how to study it. He wants you to understand it. So if I need to help you more, then uh, email me. I sent the ones that told me that my email. I've talked with you, some of you on the phone, try to help you through it. You know, so, I mean, don't give up. And don't get discouraged. Okay? But uh, you will learn this. Because Jesus wants you to, okay? And he wants you to know it, his word, the truth, okay? So um, comment if you need me to uh, get in touch with you or something and go a little deeper, okay? In Jesus' name, God bless y'all.